I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. That 7-0 lead of theirs, short-lived, as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Here's Brady to throw. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And he's got Sanu. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. They go play action here on first down. Going up top. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the linebacker, Nigel Bradham. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Edelman was the intended target. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation, but sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. <laughs> Throwing his wins. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Dante Hightower able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. After the sack on first down, Wentz. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the gun on third down, Wentz. And he connects with Ertz. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Throwing on first is Wentz. He'll hit Jackson complete. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. They'll get 34 yards there. Well, one thing's for sure. They're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them right now. They're going to go through the whole litany of things, changing coverages, you know, what are we going to do to put a man on him? The big thing to me is treat it like a good pitcher treats pitching a game. Change your time. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Punching it in.